lines and it's just beautiful. And just to know that God is willing to use me. He's willing to use you if you believe Him, if you have faith in Him. So when you pray for anything, whether you're praying for your family, your friends, a situation, don't pray from here. Don't pray from the natural mind. Get right. Enter into that place and pray from there. Pray from in Christ, with Christ in you. Pray from in Christ, down from victory, over the situation. There's answers in the Word of God for everything you're ever going to come across. Any problem, any anything that rises up against you from the pits of hell, there's an answer in the Word of God. There's a promise, there's a scripture that He will use, that if you hide it in your heart, the Holy Spirit will bring it up and give you what is needed to push past into that next area, to claim that victory, to be more than a conqueror, to do things unto God for His glory here on earth. So where do you war from? That's the, that's what I, that's the question I want to pose, that you would go before the Lord. Father, do I war from my flesh? Do I war from my natural man? And if so, because we've all done it, we've all been there, he's barely leading me into this place. It's happened twice in about a week. And I'm just going to keep pressing in, and I'm going to keep pushing in, and I'm going to keep hungering and thirsting for the things of God. It says those who hunger and thirst for righteousness will be filled. I want the things of God. I want my bowl to always be full. That he throws it down, it hits the earth, something happens, and it's already full again. That's the kind of life that I want to live. That's the kind of prayer and worship that I want to arise as a sweet incense before the throne of God. So Holy Spirit, I just ask that you would teach us, that you would train us, that you would impart upon us the supernatural ability and understanding of the mind of Christ, that we would war from a place in Christ at the right hand of God, above the principalities, above where all the things are happening in the spiritual realm, that we would war and pray and intercede from that place, that why here with Christ in us and the Holy Spirit indwelling and resting upon us, there would be that connection, there would be that manifestation, and there would be that transference of the supernatural power of God into the natural realm of man, that we would just see the things of you, Lord. So war from there. Invite the Spirit in. Let Him train you in the Scripture. Let Him train you to do the things that God has called you to do. And then just sit down, shut up, hold on, and enjoy the ride. There's no, there's no need to question God. If He tells you to do something, just do it. The, uh, the blessing is in the obedience. If He tells you to do something, do it. If He says, let's go, go. Don't, don't. Delayed obedience is disobedience. Let's just make this happen, people. Let's just get this... Let's just get this thing right. We only got one chance at it. We only got one chance to be who God created us to be. We only got one chance to do the things God has already written in our book for us to do. But it's up to us to enter into Him. It's up to us to trust Him. And if your faith doesn't take you to that place, that's where you have to ask to have the faith of God imparted onto you. That was something I prayed for Sunday, that the Lord would stretch my capacity, would increase my tent, that He would impart the faith of Jesus, the faith of God, onto me. That if I come to a place where my faith, which, for whatever reason, because I'm a person, I'm a human being, uh, I have a flesh that is at war with my spirit all the time, that if I find my place, myself in a place that my faith may not be enough, that he would supernaturally impart the, his faith, the faith of his son, the trust 
onto my life that I would be able to move into those things no matter what. That if he puts something on me, no matter what it is, if he puts an anointing on me, a calling on my life, no matter what, that I remember ask him, oh, I can't take this. This is too much, Lord, a little bit less. That I would ever, never utter the words other than more, Lord. More, Lord. He says we can do, he can do more than we can ask or imagine. Let him blow your mind. Let him reveal to you the things of God. Let him show you the depths and the mysteries of the things of God. And let's flip it. Let's do like the apostles did. And let's flip this world on its head. Let's turn it upside down to the glory of Jesus Christ. tells you to do no matter how crazy it seems he's got something in store for you Jesus is king no matter how crazy it seems trust him let him grow your faith and let him do things through you to his glory that rocks the world